people are having a, a great day here. We're uh, in the uh, in the warehouse arcade that is modeled after Kowloon City. Looking at all these great classic games, classic games you probably remember from your uh, childhood, like uh, Virtual on Virtual on or or Ontario, Canada. Your uh, Dance Hands Revolution machines behind me. There's those classic uh, pads that you just uh, kick around. Uh, Starwing Paradox, of course, the classic sit down and uh, use two joysticks. Starwing Paradox, another classic game. They're very popular games like Border Break and Magic Academy. Racing games that you remember, like D Zero, Player uh, Five Showdown. I remember this game very well. Uh, hey everyone, Alan here for EGI, Tokyo Game Show. I got to go to Tokyo with Robbie Ratcliffe, the best pro gamer in all of gaming. Um, how cool is that? Robbie is the, well, probably the coolest guy I've ever met and he could beat any game if he tried. He's really the best at anything he does. So, thank you Robbie, thank you EGI, and back to you, back to you Robbie. I'm with my uh, hero and best friend in the whole world, Robbie Ratcliffe. And he's, uh, he's playing a game, a racing game right now, and he's probably gonna win the game because he's the best. So here, 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 I am, here I am, and here's Robbie. Oh, he's winning the game, he's, got the, he's in first place, and he's doing amazing, and he's having so much fun in Tokyo. Just, just to reiterate, let Robbie, let me come to Tokyo with him for electronic game information. He's in, he's winning every game he plays. Robbie, did you win the game? Did you win the game? No, I, I didn't realize that uh, this racing game had intersections and oncoming traffic. Um, my fault for not doing the research that I needed to do before playing something like this, for investing money in it. it, just feels a little like I wasted money, and I don't like that feeling. All right, so uh, update from EGI: Robbie uh, has failed the game he played, but he—it's not his fault. It, it was something wrong with the game design.
Shockey Warehouse Arcade. It's a big arcade, great arcade. A lot of fun to be there. Uh, just, a, just a wonderful arcade filled with uh, games that you remember from your past, from your childhood. Games that you may ne never have played in your life. Uh, all there up in the Kawasaki Warehouse, Tokyo, Japan. You gotta come see it. Kawasaki uh, Subway Station. Get you pretty close. Not all the way there. It's still a long walk. So uh, that's Robbie right there. That's hey, I'm Robbie Rackliff, the electronic game information. I'm Alan, and uh, he's a big, strong, tall guy, and he knows how everything about trains. And so he knew exactly where to go to have the most fun in Tokyo. And I'm having a blast. I've never been anywhere. So this is like the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me personally. I want to uh, first thank Robbie, who's right here, and everyone who's on the train. Uh, uh, there's a train. Okay, that's not that cool, but check that out. There's an old building that has lots of fun video games in it. Let's get a shot of me and Robbie with the fun games. Robbie, look. Okay. So big thanks to Robbie for uh, letting uh, Alan come to Tokyo. I'd probably be lost without him. He's my best friend in the whole world. Uh, this it's been a wonderful experience here with Alan in Tokyo. Uh, I do forgive him for what happened at the uh, customs checkpoint when we got to Tokyo. Uh, I do realize that it was not his fault. Um, Things happen uh, when you're when you get nervous and you uh, say things that you don't know what you're saying. And Alan, I just want you to know that uh, I do forgive you, and that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a, a great day. There's a big mix-up at the customs department when we got on, into the airport in Tokyo, Japan, but no big deal. Robbie's not mad at me. He told me you heard it here first. Everything's going good. We're gonna explore the city. And we're gonna have a blast. Uh, you heard it right, uh, Alan. At the customs, what uh, they they questioned him. They asked if he had any any gold or illegal drugs or pornography and he pointed at the gold because he thought that they were asking if he wanted any gold and he said that out of the three things that they were presenting him he would prefer uh, gold which is the wrong answer so it took us several hours to get through customs uh, we have a lot of people from a lot of different countries looking at us very strangely like we were criminals didn't feel good but um, you know all that's in the past we had a great time at the arcade yeah, there's a big mistake, but everything's all good now. We're having the, the time of our lives, and I, it's the most fun I've ever had, and I think it's the most fun Robbie's ever had. So thank you for Robbie and Tokyo Game Show uh, EGI signing off. Back to you. Back to the studio.